it's our buddies happy fall friday and that was it's the new thing which was actually requested by ex fall band member and lovely fellow mr mark riley who very kindly spent some time whatsapping with me to recollect what was played on the recording he played bass on it and he was recollected also what the great martin brammer played for his guitar part which is really useful because it's a really kind of scratchy part so uh, those are the most difficult ones to work out okay so um we're starting on keyboards. So if you want those notes, it's a B to an E to an A to an F sharp, which you could play 9, 9, 10, and 7 on the D, G, and B strings, if you want. And that riff, those notes carry on, and also we find them in the guitar part. So starting on the guitar and playing on the intro, we've got this. You can hear you can hear this D to E, so 15 to 17. I'm playing on the B string, but you can also hear a B flat in there if you listen carefully, which gives it a nice kind of discordant sound. Okay, so we play that four times in the intro, and then we've got this. Okay, that's that. So at first I thought. Uh, there was two guitars on this track, one playing, another guitar kind of playing, kind of scratchy chords. But uh, Mark had said it's just one guitar, and Martin was great at sort of this scratchy rhythm playing. So you get all the notes of this if you're doing a B. So you've got that, that note there. An E and make it a sus4 so you get that A note and go back to a B so you've got that A sharp okay so you've got great riff great riff and then it goes down to just goes down the semitone to B flat and E flat It goes down a tone to A flat and D flat. Then we've got an F sharp for like two bars. And again, Mark was helpful on this. He said Martin didn't play it as a full bar chord on the day. He was just playing it from what he can remember as kind of the, the middle four strings. And then got an A. Okay. And then um, we go to I I wonder why this next year's things. I wonder why this next year's things. We go up to a D. Ba, ba, da. And it's very similar to this. But now up here, a slightly different rhythm because you've got dead. It kind of follows the vocal. So you got I wonder why this next year's thing. Ba, 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 ba. So play D. To a G, G sus four, little finger, back to G, back to D. I wouldn't go back to Okay, and then here, um, again, you can pretty much play anything here as long as you kind of end on a G, and with harmonics is nice. So get Mark recollected that Martin played like. Um, just hitting harmonics on 7, 9, 5 to 12. Okay, but again, at this point, it goes completely discordant because uh, Yvonne, the keyboard player, was just like bashing out uh, notes uh, with her arm on the keyboard. So you pretty much got every note available there in this section, making it really kind of avant-garde. Okay, so I've got... And then we're back into... Okay, and then at the end, I'm just going from a C to a D. Okay. Okay, and that just, uh, so just two chords there, C and D, to take us out. All right, so we'll take a look next at the bass part. For the bass, I'm coming in with... So just a little lead-in of a D. 
okay? Just coming out of the intro, five on the A string, and then I play B on seven, to E on seven, to D on five. We could put here. Using the open D, whatever you prefer. Okay, so we've got that. And then I'm playing um, the B fat to E fat. And then just a little chromatic passing note there, nice little clever touch to take us down a whole step. Okay, so I'm playing six to six, five, then jump it to four. Then an A fat and a D fat. So an open E, ham into that F sharp. So open to two. Okay, and then on the there's a bar of A on which the bass ducks out and then comes back in with. On then I wonder what is next year's thing, then I wonder what is next year's thing. Okay, um, so so the rhythm of the bass is basically following the vocal there. Okay, so I'm playing G, E. So just come in, one, two, three, four. Okay, so five to seven. Then an A on seven, so that's on the D and A strings. Back to the D string on seven. Okay, and then just back into the main riff. And then at the end of the song, oh, and also after that, um, again, the, there's some discordant chords from the guitar and piano. The bass just ducks out there for those kind of crashing chords and. That's where it comes back in after that, all right? And then at the end, we just got... Just a C to a D. You can see a few little classic kind of punkish little hammer-ons there from a semitone below. So you've got three and five, but sometimes you've got a little hammer from two to three, four to five. kind of thing you can have some fun with that at the end and just rock out okay um so great tune and uh thanks to mark riley lovely chap for requesting it and happy fall friday thank you